Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video and today we are going to be speaking about Tears of War and which platform should you play the games on basically um especially the Gears of War uh, with the meditation of the games where on the PC you get only one game the first game that was also originally uh, all the way back when it was released on the PC and the rest of the two three games weren't on the PC so basically Gears of War 1 uh, was on the PC Gears of War 2 wasn't on the PC, Gears of War 3 wasn't on the PC, and Gears of War The Judgment War wasn't on the PC. So which, essentially which version you showed you big uh, between the two platforms, uh, PC or Xbox? If you know how to make uh, the games essentially run on the Xbox uh, emulator, you can do that. You don't have to buy the Xbox uh, console to enjoy those games. Uh, I uh, I have had a bad experience with the uh, Xbox uh, emulator for the PC. Basically, it feels like the overall emulator feels like an um, incomplete. Basically, there is no direct way to uh, change the settings. You have to do them through a fucking config to do that. Which is, in a sense, another hassle that I don't want to fucking deal with. And the third option will be for me to buy a console, which, is, which isn't that expensive. Compared to PlayStation 5, which I already own, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's still something that is out of my fucking reach. And I want to have Xbox Series X at one point in time, but at the moment, it's not my foresight to buy one. Unless someone within the community is kind of hard enough. To help me out, but I'm not going to sit here and beg uh, the small community that I have to send me money and get me uh, the Xbox Series X, which is 400 euros anyway. But I'm not going to beg you to assist me in that uh, because it's such a nice old thing to do. And it doesn't matter, I will eventually be able to buy it on my own and stuff like that. So I'm, in in a way, I'm not in a, any magnificent hurry, if that makes sense. And that being in mind, I really wish Microsoft... And the company who made the Ultimate Edition were like, we should probably add those games to the PC just because of the fact that there are there are going to be people who may or may not enjoy it. And the fact that people have to go out of their way to like buy a con uh, Xbox console or do it through a shitty emulator is kind of going stupid. I don't mean kind of, I mean it, it's extremely fucking stupid that people have to do that. Um, I'm a gamer, I most of the time I won't complain about such a minor things, especially if I would have had the console, but I don't. Even though I have a pretty powerful PC, the the thing about the emulator, especially about the Xbox emulator, is the fact that even if you have a pretty good uh, PC, it doesn't matter in the slightest. It doesn't fucking matter. Um. 
Of course, there are exceptions, like Red Dead Redemption is running perfectly fine. The first one, not the second one. Uh, and there are going to be a couple of other games that run pretty fucking fine without, like, major graphical glitches, texture glitches, or things like that. But when I try to play Gears of War, to uh, to through the Xbox em Xbox 360 emulator, I had graphical glitches all over the fucking place. I have texture issues all over the fucking place, and for me that's a horror that I don't want to necessarily fucking deal with. And I'm being brutally honest. Uh, I hope. That eventually they have something in the back of their heads that are like, we should probably make a proper PC port of the other three other three games. I'm not putting my hope into it too much, uh, and stuff like that. But who the fuck who the fuck knows? I'm not Xbox and Microsoft executive. I'm not Xbox executive. I can't pl I, I I essentially can't plan the what they want to do or what they don't want to do. But he hear me out, Xbox. Do it. It's going to help you in the long run. I mean, I know. Gears of War 1 is on the PC, Gears of War 4 is on the PC, Gears of, the F Gears of War 5 is on the PC. Gears of War E-Day is going to be on the PC, so it's like... 5 games on the PC. But the main 3 games aren't on the PC, that's the, like, where did they go wrong? I mean, I understand. Are the financial things about the ports? The first one didn't do well on the PC. But fuck you! What kind of excuse is that? Data doesn't matter. What matters is people want to play the game, they are willing to buy it, and they are willing to play the games. But hey, they made that decision, it's out of my fucking control, and shit like that. I know that I've been complaining a lot within this video, but that's what this video is meant to be. A video where I complain of shit ton about the Xbox <coughs> the Xbox's decision to not port those games to be see. I will make a separate review about the Gears of War Ultimate Edition when I have more time. I have time right now, but my mind is all constantly thinking, brainstorming games that I want to do in the nearby future. So, a little bit of self-promotion right here. If you want to check out the Gears of War 1 uh, through an Ultimate Edition, Check down the description. I will link it down below where you can watch the entire series throughout and enjoy. You don't have to hit the like, you don't have to comment, you don't have to subscribe and hitting the bell. None of that. I'm not expecting anyone to do that. Do it only if you enjoy the content. Only if you enjoy the content. I want to grow an authentic, an authentic channel where, where growth of the channel is organic. I'm not going to sit here and beg people to subscribe and leave a like, blah, blah, blah. It's not me. It's not my agenda. Uh, in other words, I don't give a shit. This is just my pure hobby that I love to do. And I hope you can see it fit in this video. If not, then there is plenty of other content you may see. 
I'm about to reach 340 videos or content overall uploaded to the channel. If that's not evidence of me enjoying it, then I don't know what it is. I'm sorry, I'm being a dickhead right now, but <laughs> to be honest, I do enjoy it. It's, like, it's something that is really fucking fun thing to do. Beating games is fun. Even though I don't 100% it, or in, the, in some cases I only go for the trophies, but still it's a fucking fun thing to do and I enjoy it. But anyway, this video has gone 11 minutes. I leave it here. Thanks so much for watching and do what you think is necessary. And I'll see you guys with a proper review very, very soon. Bye bye. Thank <laughs> you.